Well, the latest job vacancies report shows nearly half of these vacancies are for newly created positions. The Manpower Ministry says this is largely due to businesses expanding into existing and new functions. One such example is the constantly evolving AI sector. The ministry is urging employees to continue upskilling and reskilling so that they can fill these new positions. The proportion of newly created openings rose to 47.3% last year, up from 38.7% the previous year. It's the highest since such figures were recorded in 2018. MOM says this reflects the evolving nature of Singapore's economy and the resulting changes in manpower demand. The sectors with the highest share of vacancies for new openings are information and communications at nearly 73%, followed by construction at 65.7%. So the bigger question now is not necessarily why has that increased, but what are we going to do to create that skill set in Singapore? I think we now need to take a hard look at what are we doing to equip the Singapore citizens with the skill sets to be able to not only take on those jobs, but to actually be successful at them. Also on the rise, the proportion of PMET vacancies to 57.2% from 56%. PMET refers to professionals, managers, executives and technicians. And the increase is a result of higher demand for such skilled workers. The sectors in particular include information and communications, financial and insurance, and the health and social services. The report also shows that in filling PMET roles, more employers are now willing to look at a job seeker's experience and skills and not just academic qualifications. I think compared to the previous uh, generation or so, I think a um, wider and more diverse set of skills are required. And I think for every Singaporean worker, uh, we do have to consider uh, not just being in uh, one career or one job in our whole life, but also uh, multiple roles in this uh, current environment. Nearly two in three employers also indicate that they are open to hiring candidates with lower qualifications if they have relevant experience or skills.